welcome to another vlog. I think it's going to be quite a long one today, but we're doing something a little bit different. I'm showing you a few rooms around the house, a home haul, how I'm going to be styling up my home, and then we're going to finish with a luxury haul. So to start off this video, I've teamed up with Desenio to kind of style up this area. I think I've mentioned to you a couple of times that I, and I know you've mentioned to me about putting some prints and photos on the wall, I've never put anything on my wall just because I'm so unorganised and impatient. I don't even have a wedding album and I got married in 2015. And every time I go to do it, I'm just overwhelmed by how long it would take. Um, so Desenio is great for that because you can just pick anything that you want. The frames are already there to the size. You can kind of play around with how it's going to look. So I've been meaning to do this for a long time and it's kind of got me in the mood to do the rest of the house. This room in here, um, which if you want to see a whole video about it, I've got a hallway video which I'll link below. It's quite a cold area because I have marble flooring. So to warm it up, I've changed the sofa here, which is a goldy tone, which we'll see in a minute. And what else have we done? We're going to put the prints up to add in some colour. So, um, so we're going to show you all the prints that I ordered. And just before we carry on, I have a 30% discount code that's only valid for today until tomorrow. Um, I'll put the code here so you can see it, and I'll put it in the description box. One thing that I've noticed about starting this is that, of course, prints are a really affordable way of styling up, like maybe a student room or your home. While if you can't afford to do big works or you're saving, of course, that's a, an easy way to do it. It's also a great way to add some colour to a blank canvas because we all get bored of colour every now and again. But what I've discovered, which is a less obvious thing, these prints have helped me, it's kind of like a mood board. So I was trying to figure out what colours to use in here. I was quite interested to use like baby blues, but then I thought that was too cool and I wanted to play with gold and beige tones. And that's what I picked here without realising and it looks so amazing. I've got them all laid out here and even Paris said, wow, that looks amazing. So I really recommend doing this if you're trying to work out a colour palette and a mood for a room. This can help you. And they're so affordable that you can like swap it out, maybe buy a whole new colour group and then do the room all the way along there. It's a lot more useful than buying first soft furnishings and it's also cheaper. So I'm going to show you the prints and then we're going to put them on the wall. So I've come down to the sofa so I can show you properly. If you're wondering what that white box is on the wall, it's part of our alarm system. It fills up the whole house with smoke if we have a fourth century. I did not want it there. Um, I can't move it because the whole alarm goes off and people come to the house. But ignore that, it's going to be gone in a few days. So I am obsessed with this colour palette. So I'm going to talk you through each print just to give you some ideas. I am really love I searched the website for hours. Hours and hours. And I actually started months ago. Um, I have more prints that I have for the flat and then some for the kitchen. Let me know if you want to see what I've picked for the flat because it's a totally different vibe. And I think I'm going to show you the kitchen ones because that's also a different vibe. So the first one I chose were for the kitchen, which I chose um, in the summer. And then these second ones, I'm going to start off with the quote one. So I love a quote on Instagram, you've probably noticed, but I don't really like them around the house because I get bored of them and sometimes they can be a bit cheesy. So make sure that if you get a quote, you get one that's so meaningful to you. This quote is probably the most meaningful quote to me and I've used it before on Instagram. It says, remember that you once dreamed of where you are now and this is huge for me and it's such a great reminder because we're all so hard on ourselves and I know that whenever I hit a goal, or I achieve something that I once dreamed of, I don't appreciate it and I move on to the next one and I always think I'm not doing good enough and I need to do better. And this for me is really important for me to see. So I think that's amazing for having just one print, like a lot of people have them in their kitchen by their coffee machine, like have a great day, this kind of thing. And I really think it works. So this is so meaningful to me and it's an issue that I have where I don't appreciate everything. When I drive to my house, for example, Every day I look at it and I think, not only did I dream of this, this is more than what I dreamed of. So this one, it, for me, is such an amazing quote and it came in my favourite colour of all time, like a minky beige colour, which is perfect for warming up these tones. Um, another tip while you're picking things, 
you might be the kind of person that is not as annoying as me and you don't get bored of things straight away. So if you are annoying like me, one thing that I recommend is to pick things that are, are meaningful to you. So obviously this is Paris's house as well and I picked this one because I know it's his favorite thing in Happy Place. So this is a picture, a print of a beach and I know that that for him is really relaxing. The beach is his favorite place to be. So I picked that for him and I couldn't believe that I found one in the tones that mix this whole room. So my whole vibe for this area is somewhere where we hang out every day. We're always here. We pass through it a hundred times a day and I just wanted it to be relaxing and just to take a second to look at it. And it's all, all of our happy things, all of the relaxing things, the quote, one quote there just as a reminder so the whole thing is just relaxing and zen and all the things that we love and zen and peace so it depends what you want that was what i was going for so i got that in the big one and i love it that you can pick different sizes and i love it how everything is just you pick the print you pick the frame i went for the white washed wood um, and also i've got some gold ones as well this is actually one of my favourite ones, they're all my favourite. This is the white feather, I love feathers, it's something that's really relaxing um, and I actually think this is really nice just three in a row, so there's definitely some more that I'm going to order. I think, I think the beach one looks really nice two together, uh, but I think this three in a row is really really nice, so that is definitely one of my favourites. I didn't think I was going to be this happy with them. Another one which was top of my list and I just searched in the search bar for this one are the clouds and I was thinking of getting, I was really drawn to like a candy pink cloud which I think I might get for my walking wardrobe, I can't wait to show you, we started it, I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, and I think I'll save that for my girly space but I love these nude clouds, it just looks so dreamy so beautiful and I think that looks really great on its own really in the really big size so I think I might get one of the other clouds in a really big size and have that in my flat I think or maybe above the bed how nice would that be yeah I think that'd be nicer against the bed the last vibe that I went for to finish off the space is I bought four pampas grass prints the three small ones are my favorite so they're all slightly different and you'll notice that they all have a white border. So they've all got the white border. And again, I think these look really nice three in a row or two in a row. I love it how they're completely different, but the same, you know, all the same vibe. That's the third one. And then I have one big one here just to break it up a bit. And I love it that that's mainly white. And then to go with, to pull it all together, I have the beige gold couch, which has the same tones. And then I have this huge pampas grass in the back, which I'm going to elevate a bit so you can see it more. And then I have, let me quickly show you because I'm choosing between these two. Actually, I have three. So I really love, I really love pink pampas grass and I dyed these myself. It was so easy. They actually went a bit pink and I think I'm going to add more and dye them less. Um, this is a vase that I bought from H&M. Um, I'm going to do an H&M haul in a second with all home stuff, but I love how that brings a bit of colour and I haven't dedicated any pink to the prints and I've got that here, so I think that looks really, really nice. I've also, which I got this idea from Timothy Alton, by the way, is putting flowers and in this case pampas grass in a wine bottle, but this wine bottle is the rich champagne that I had for my wedding. Um, so I have two of these and they're actually on my dining room table and I've got a marble block here. So I'm going to play around with these and then I have a dark rich champagne bottle with other pampas bar. So uh, that's the story behind what my inspiration was for picking everything. Oh, must be a rabbit in the garden. Um, so now, oh, so now we're going to put them all on the, on the wall and I can't wait to see what it looks like and now I'm in the spirit to do the whole house. So let's put them on the wall.
So this is the final setup. It looks so much better than what I thought. I've never done anything like this before. And like I said earlier, it's really got me in the mood to do this again. It's completely pitch black outside. It literally took us, I'd say, max 15 minutes. I laid everything out on the floor, swapped them around, took a couple of pictures to see which looked better. It was so quick and easy and that was the best way. I decided not to put this one up, um, but it does look great there. But I need another small one on the right for it to balance out, so I'm going to keep that aside. And then I'm going to order another one. I think I'm going to order either another feather one or another cloud one. I'll put the link to all of the ones I have below. Um, but the command strips are amazing because the frames are quite light. They're very secure with the command strips. We did a couple wrong and we just took it off and put it back on. So definitely recommend them because it doesn't damage the wall. Um, I'm going to show you in the kitchen the ones that I have in there and the different vibe and the way that I've put them up I've used the back, I'll, I'll show you what I've done in there um, if you do want to buy any of the Desenio prints don't forget to use my discount code Claire Chanel only valid today and tomorrow um, and I'll put all the terms and conditions in the description box below so that's nice and clear with a link um, yeah so I'm going to show you the kitchen then I'm going to show you a quick home haul, like super quick one and then I'll be with you tomorrow to show you all the um, all the clothes I've ordered recently. Oh god, my knees, my knees. So let me know what you think below. I think it looks great. So this is the corner in my kitchen. I cannot show you what the rest of it look like, looks like because we're painting the floors and behind me it's chaos. This is the only end of the kitchen that's nice. So I have a lemon theme um, from Capri. I bought these all in Capri, I have one for the centre of my table and when I bought these lemons I knew I wanted to have a lemon print in the kitchen so these are the first prints that I found I have lots of space to put them on the wall but I actually quite like them leaning because the frames come with that so I, I'm just covering the plugs because I hate plug sockets and the red light for the dishwasher so I put them here and I actually quite like them and sometimes I have like one either side sometimes I put this basket on there and I fill it with lemons or I fill it with fruit so I like it that these aren't on the wall and I can just play around with them um, and I think once we get our island unit I can play around with them a bit more so I don't want to commit to where I put them but I think prints are really nice for the kitchen especially lemons or the flowers or I think daily quotes I love the coffee menu one um, like the bits that you can have by your coffee machine but this is what I went for and I think that I will get one more of these and I might have them on the wall and have that in the middle and that on the other side but I wanted to show you my idea that I did for the kitchen so that's kind of what it looks like so let me know if you want me to show you what I ordered for the flat because it's a completely different vibe different frames completely different let me know if you want me to show you how they look in the flat um, but for now this is the kitchen and the hallway so I hope you like the kitchen uh, prints that I done I'm so happy with this little setup it makes it all warmer so I thought I'd just come back here and show you the haul very, very quickly. So you've already seen my shell bars, um, and I think I'll order a couple more of these, dry them lighter, but it also looks really good like that, so I might just put a hair tie around them. I have a marble table here, which I'll do a cutaway. I saw this in store, apparently it was an exclusive, but I'll try and find everything here. As much as I love marble, it went into a really big trend, which always ruins something for me, so it gets a bit sickly. Um, but this is more of an unusual marble. It's like um, very dark and not the traditional trend marble. So I did really like it. It was a really good price. Exactly what I was looking for for the flat. Um, and then a couple of other bits, which is not normally the vibe that I pick, to pick. But because my flat is such a small space and I don't need like, like whenever I buy things like this for the house, I buy eight of everything because we normally have eight people for dinner, whereas at the flat I need two of everything so I, can, I feel like I can pay around a bit more. So I bought these huge mugs with like a, a leopard, is that a leopard? Yeah. Um, I just love them, I thought they were really really great. I love a good saucepan with a mug, so I bought those at the flat. Um, these were a bit silly really because they're salt and pepper 
things and I don't you I use the big granules but I thought they were really cute just for the side of the kitchen to go with this whole thing. I bought again I must be into leopards this is a bottle opener because we don't have one there and that was a nice one and then I bought some hooks this is going to be for my necklaces I love these for uh, jewelry and belts I might even keep this for my walking wardrobe actually oh yeah I haven't showed you it have I and then I bought two of these I've got another two somewhere, but these are going to go on the back of one of the doors for coats. So just some little accents because I'm keeping it very clean and white in there. Might be editing some pink, I'm not sure. So that's my little home haul that I just wanted to show you because I know I mentioned that in another vlog that I went to H&M. I'm not going to show you um, the room just because I'm, the wardrobe as in filming so I'm a bit conscious of how long this is. But I'm going to pop a couple of pictures here to show you my room. So the wardrobes have half gone, uh, ready to be ripped out and put the new ones in, but we'll be doing the whole flooring everywhere. So the whole of the second floor has gone into my wardrobe and this is what it looks like. It's chaos. Every single room in my house looks like that. So I'm glad that this is a nice finished area. Um, I'll leave you with this part today. Um, and we'll catch up again tomorrow when I show you all the bits that I ordered online and um, yeah see you tomorrow hello oh hello from a few days later I left you unboxing all my prints and showing you around the house a bit um, what we're we doing now I'm going to show you an Etipote delivery that arrived but this just arrived can you believe Paris was out and the delivery guy, there was only one of him and I had to help get that in and I am the world's weakest person and I have really weak, weak wrists, but it's fine, we made it. So this is our new TV. We have been waiting a long time for a new TV because we're very into our gadgets, both of us. We love, when we got our TV, this one that we have in the lounge already, I think we had that in the flat in South Kem. So it's a good four or five years, but because it's such a great TV, it's really lasted us and we took ages to pick that one. Uh, but we've needed a new one for like the last six months and this is the new one. I'll link it below so you can see it. So that's the new one for the lounge. And this is the new one for either my bedroom or the flat. I think I might take this to the flat, although I don't know how I'm going to get that there. But yeah, I think I'm going to take this to the flat because... Um, we watch the TV in the bed the least, and then our old lounge one will go in the flat, or the, the bedroom upstairs. Um, so yeah, I'm just uh, wanting to show you because they literally just arrived, and we will not get them up just yet because we're decorating a bit. We're having all the floors we've done across the whole house. What else we haven't done? Painting my bedroom, we're having new wardrobes done. So I think when everything's done, we will put these up and I am so excited because it's got, um, I'll explain more in the other video, but it's got a new sound system and it's just going to be unreal. It's going to be best than the cinema, I think. Oh, official partner of the Cannes Film Festival. Oh, the sky's pink. I need to go. Let's go and um, I'm going to show you everything that I've got from Nap. Look at this beautiful sky, and this is not even the sunset side. The sunset side is the other, other way. How beautiful. So this is my decking. I think I need to move out. That we both really hate. These are my go-to shoes that I literally live in. I love them so much. Um, we hate this decking, but all the rabbits live underneath, and we just feel too bad to rip it all up. You'll be shocked how many rabbits are in our garden. Okay, so this is a very casual style of vlogging. Oh, um, here are some bits that I'm going to film for my other haul. I kind of just like bring them all in here. Here are some bits. So when I'm showing you something, I like to use all of my other bits that I have. Um, like this Fendi peekaboo I've had for quite some time. Am I still zoomed in? Yep. These two bags I've had for, I don't know, but a long time. So I just want to make sure that you always know that when I'm buying like a baby blue Fendi peekaboo and you might go to buy it because you think it looks nice on me, I want you to know that I am still wearing them. These are my black Manolo um, 
BBs that I wear all the time. Everyone needs a pair of those. And just some like, you know, like my classic Topshop tee, my classic Topshop shirts, all these things when I do one of my favourite jeans. Um, all classic things when I do a classic video, this is how classic they are. They're my go-to and I can put them with everything. These are my new bits, so very different way of doing my hauls from how I normally do it, but I just thought I'd do something different. I love how this colour palette looks. This is my kind of colours. I love everything. So I'm going to pop you on the ring light. Oh, no, we're not on. We're not on. I'm never going to get enough of this mirror, isn't it? So stunning i've had it it's got to be pushing for two years and i've never had to replace these bulbs i don't leave them on all the time because that would just be like a waste of energy uh, but i do have it on quite a lot and i've never had to change them but this just is like such a love of my life this is timothy olton by the way this mirror i have told you many times but i know there's lots of newcomers there is a spider there <laughs> um if you would like to um, ask anything about Timothy Alton, please don't hesitate to tell me or ask me. I do have an incentive for any of my followers that would like to purchase anything from Timothy Alton. So I can definitely help out with that. So let's get on with this haul. So this is how I normally start my hauls, but she can get a bit in the mirror in there, yep. I normally start my hauls like this, but I wanted to start off slightly different, showing you a bit of the home. You know, I always say that styling a home is the same in interior design. It's so, what's the word I'm looking for? It's the end of the day. Relatable? Rel relative. It's all relative and re related. That's the one. Oh my God, don't do videos at the end of the day. Care. It's all related. So if you're styling a person, it's all about tones, textures and vision. And it, it's the same with the house. So I thought it was quite nice to, to link the two. So the first item that I have is this totem blazer, which I do think is my favorite. I love everything as per usual, but these two things, oh my God, I really do love these, but this is cost per wear going to be amazing. And as you can see, there's a tr trend here. I love khaki. So khaki again, and I promise I'm going to do this. I always remind myself when I say this, khaki is really great for a pink undertone and tan and brown and I always I love I used to love wearing pink and colour still wearing pink and I always knew that earthy tones were going to suit me and I remember I always used to say to Paris I used to say you ever have the rest of my life to wear responsible and chic and classic earthy tones and I'm really enjoying finally being there little colour story for you then so this is a khaki uh, blazer but sometimes it looks grey on the website I thought it looked great and I loved it and I ordered it clearly um, just to clarify these are all gifts yeah they're all gifts so just to clarify that they're gifts, gifts from this porte um, and it was buttoned up like that which I loved how it's completely seamless streamlined blazer and I loved that but I, there was something about here that I was so unsure of and I thought I'm going to love it but I'm not going to be like in love I am in love with it. It is so beautiful. I bought, um, I ordered, what size did I order here? Yeah, an M. Oh, it's called Elephant. Oh, I love that name. Such a good name for it. So the totem blazers, which I'll link below, I have it in black and, and like a linen-y, um, chambra, chambre, I mean. <laughs> I haven't had my dinner yet fabric one for the winter one for the summer although I wear both of them all year round to be honest and they're very oversized and I normally go for a medium but this one I go for a small so I'll make sure that's clearly linked in the description box below and I had a feeling that this was I could see it was a different style and I could see it was more fitted it had the darts I could see it was a thicker fabric so I I knew I had to order medium it's the perfect size for me it's very um oh it is oversized but it's my favourite kind of oversized because it's slightly fitted. So this is a tip for you. The totem black blazer, if you are petite and you're like Mary Kay um, and Ashley Oslin and you love that 
proper oversized look and you're really petite do it i think it looks great i love it but if you don't feel comfortable on that and you you feel like you can't pull it off for whatever reason you can but whatever reason my advice to you if you think you can't if you're petite and you can't pull off oversized my advice to you is this buy fitted and then go oversized so this totem blazer that's fitted if you're petite buy a size up and it will fit you better than that other style because the other style is very boxy if you go like this with the sleeves with this it will stay up the other one is so square on the sleeves even i get a bit frustrated that it doesn't stay up whereas this one does so i'm loving the fit of this and if you are slightly petite or slim then going for a fitted blazer and buying it up is going to give you a more fitted oversized look if that made sense um or if you're if the brand are uh, big enough to offer petite then that's always great buy petite and then two sizes big so i love this it looks so great with everything literally what i'm wearing now um i'll show you in the cutaway this would be the most perfect airport outfit and i think i'll probably wear this to the airport because then i've got a blazer to go out in i'm comfy and cozy with this um it looks so good with the tracksuit then it looks so good with these my next great find this is my second pair of these denim i'm i love jeans on the high street i absolutely love the top short top straight jeans and i've always been a fan of um zara jeans zara jeans are not as good as that they used to be like i have to admit they're not like you can go and there'll be a table of jeans you can pick up one pair out of like the seven and it'll be fab and the others could be awful. So you have to really, like, don't rely on every single jean. And I don't mean the fit, I mean the fabric. Sometimes the fabric is totally off. And if you... Okay, I need to learn to not film at night because it's black already and I get scared. Um, so yeah, frame denim are literally my favourite, that and J brand. But skinny flared fit high rise and they're by, tr by true to size my others are 26 and they're a bit um they're a bit too tight they're very stretchy so they suck you in they're very fitted but they're very comfortable it's comfy and if i have high rise i have to have a bit of stretching otherwise i'm literally walking around with the top button undone or i'm like no i'm going to cinema i don't want to have that this better be bambi if you're looking for a pair of flares slightly more expensive than something on the high street but they are worth the money cost per wear they're so flattering this is just iconic this outfit together you can put a plain t-shirt um with like a twilly in your hair and it's just amazing a black blazer any blazer literally this will go with anything these jeans they're just going to be your go-to pair of jeans and i cannot recommend them enough and i love it that these jeans Go with every single one of the blazers that i bought why do you why are you not going on there um the next top that i got again it's khaki i did i must really have khaki at the moment i didn't pick it because it was khaki i just loved it and i thought the price was so good so this is isabel moron um and it's kind of like a military very thick fitted blouse with the puff shoulder i loved how like a masculine and harsh this was but then this is quite girly i just love the color um i just loved everything about it and the price is really reasonable considering it's isabel moron i was really impressed with the price because obviously i still get given a certain amount and i have to stick to a certain amount so i still want my uh gifting to go far so i'm still conscious of all the prices just so that you know and also i'm conscious of what i'm sharing with you but i love the look of this open i love it tied up this would be great with a leather skirt and my knee-high boots this would look great with flares jeans the black flares i just loved it it's going to be definitely one of my go-to things um and it's nice and warm so perfect for this time of um, autumn really really love that they're three really classic pieces that i would just keep in my wardrobe forever so now these three pieces, I love it that they're they're fairly new brands to me and pleather, leatherettes or the trendy word these days is um, vegan leather. Someone said to me, what's vegan leather? And I just replied saying, it's just this generation, trendy word of fake leather because that's all it is. Now I do like wearing leather because I feel that 
it lasts longer and sometimes pleather, I call it death by pleather. Normally you're okay with these kind of colours but be careful of black pleather because the colour transfers really bad. And it's not like jeans where you can wash it out, you have to be very careful with pleather just to put that out there. If you're like resting a, if you're resting a leather bag on this, be careful of colour transfer. I only normally find it with very inexpensive black pleather, it happens. Normally for a brand like this, it shouldn't happen in a colour like this, it should be fine, but I always am a little bit careful. So I loved this colour, this is called Material. I'm always so worried I've got the, um, the uh, pronunciation wrong, but I'll put everything in the description box. So I fell in love with this colour, I love muted pink, I, I love it. It's like a nudie, muted pink. I love it with red. And I was just going to get this on its own. I fell in love with it. The quality is amazing. Everything about it, I love. Pockets are real, I didn't know that. It looks really nice with the collar popped. It's going to be a blazer that I wear a lot. I don't normally get the pants, like suits. I don't. It has to be really, really special for me. And I have to be able to wear the pants on their own. Um, they also do a dress. Oh, I have to show you the dress. I'll link it below. It's kind of like a blazer dress like this. And I really did want it, but it was too similar to that. And if I chose between the two, I'd want, I'd get more wear out of the blazer because that's more my style, but I really do love it. It's so amazing. So these are the trousers. They're a perfect shape for me. Normally these like peg kind of trousers aren't, but it's a really beautiful pattern cut because it really fits really well. I love all the detail. I love it when the, the buttons are the same fabric as the rest. I've got a one pocket at the back, real pockets at the side. It looks so beautiful on their own, like with a white shirt tied up, a grey t-shirt, a black leather jacket. I don't know, my cream Chanel jacket. There are a denim. <gasps> these are denim flares I, I have to wear this enough separately and together i personally love it like i i just can imagine wearing this to a really fancy party or an event and i'll feel really really good at, in it and it's quite classic so like for me i know it's pink but it's a very beautiful muted pink which means that you can mix them this is a kind of pink tone that you can mix and match i would even wear it with this it's a kind of pink that is very easy to match. None of my trousers want to go on the hanger. Now this is very bright in real life. Like I love this colour and this colour and they didn't disappoint when they came. This is slightly brighter and it looks really bright because the ring light. Slightly brighter but I was semi prepared for this. Now this brand I've, put, I've never heard of it. I'm not even sure I can say that. Alexandra Akaholkatsishvili Cool name i just can't pronounce it so i'll leave that there so the pleather feel, feels very very different you can tell it's not the same brand um this is very big on me it's a medium and i think most people would have taken it back for a small but i'm not really precious about that and i love the feeling of oversized i just feel a lot more comfortable and although it looks slightly big here when i do it up it's actually the perfect size for me so it's kind of big here but i like that so I would say, um, if you're normally a small, go for a small. Now what I loved about this was this. I have a Hannah Marshall, I don't know if anyone knows that designer, leather jacket with the elbows cut out and I love it and it reminded me of that. And if I wear this, I'd wear it very simple. I'd wear just denim and a white t-shirt. I would wear probably all black or all grey white in the summer and keep it very minimal like these you can really play and do all kinds of styling whereas this the color is so bright you'd need to keep everything else very very simple but i love statement jackets it's like my thing sorry i get scared every time i hear it i know it's a smooth bike so yeah this is that jacket um i personally really love it i feel really confident when I am in a rush to go somewhere. I'm not very good at organising my outfit. I wear whatever I fancy. I love having jackets. A lot of people say I have too many, but I enjoy it. It's what I like. I love a good t-shirt, a good pair of jeans or leather trousers, and I rely on my jackets to just throw it over, and I, I always play around with my jackets. And I know people that think that jackets ruin outfits, and 
they can't wait to take them off but I'm the opposite to that so I'm a jacket kind of girl and I love this um so that's the end of this video I will leave everything linked in the description box as per usual if there are any uh discounts or anything in, in for anything including any of these I'll let you know mm. I also want to tell you, at all of my prints, there will be a discount code in the description box in case you missed that when I said it earlier. I have a few of my favourites that I haven't shared and I haven't ordered myself and then there's a couple that I'm going to order Stevie. Um, and probably, I think it's a really great gift for, for a present, especially with Christmas. So I think Christine's just got a new flat. Loads of my friends have got new houses and flats and I think it's a really really nice gift to give someone Because um, there's a print on there for everyone and they're really affordable And then they can then get something else to go with that print and make their own gallery So I think everyone's gonna get them for Christmas from me. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog and um, Do subscribe if you'd like to see more and I will see you in the next one